guys so today is a bit of a strange video um uh, what's happened is my boyfriend has uh, upgraded his crusted gecko tank and he sent me loads of videos that he did while preparing it that i can talk through um obviously the reason he sent a video series because currently in the uk we are in a lockdown which means we can't see each other but he was kind enough to send me the video so that I can make this video. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see what it's like to have an update Crested Gecko Tank. So this is the new terrarium that he got. It is 45 centimetres by 45 by 60 tall and it is an exoterra tank. It is the tiki terrarium that is small tall as you can see and it's got the double front opening doors and it's obviously got a nice statue head at the back with a little lizard on it which he thought was extra cute because obviously a gecko is going in it. So to go with the tiki terrarium you can get all these other things to go with it like the waterfall and the water bowl and the hides uh, in case you want the full setup and uh, make it look extra fancy. So this is what the tank looks like all waiting and ready to be set up. This is the compact top terrarium canopy that fits on top of the exoterra tanks. Uh, I believe uh, my boyfriend's got a daylight UVB light in it. Um, so that's the best one for crested geckos. And as you know, they come with the slots for uh, thermostat and they fit nicely on top of the exoterra tanks. And they've also got an on off switch. So for the tank, he has decided to create a drainage layer. This is done with bio life drainage medium uh, drainage bowls. And what you do is you just put these in the bottom of your tank and it just filters the water through and helps keep the humidity a bit higher. So with your drainage layer, you're also going to need a separation layer. For this, he used the hydro fleece. So what this does is it keeps your drainage layer and your soil layer completely separate. This is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. It's just a square piece of fabric that you cut the size of your tank uh, after you add your drainage layer into the bottom. And you just place that on top. And then the next step is to add your soil layer. So for the soil layer, he has used cocoa fiber. He just, it come, usually comes in a block and you would just hydrate this with some water and spread it across the top. Um, and that's how you get your nice substrate. Your next step would be to add in any decorations that you want. So for this, he's added some leaves, uh, a bark tube, some hanging plants with the suction cups that stick to the glass, some larger logs for the crusty gecko to climb on, as well as some pretty flowers and extra vine that he didn't used to have because obviously it's a bigger tank, so he's going to need some more hiding space. And obviously, before putting your crusty gecko in, make sure it's got some food available. This is rapashi, I believe it's called. It's just a dehydrated fruit blend and you just add water to it and put it in a little hole down the side of the tank and that's what he likes to eat. This is the finished setup of it all together with the light in, everything set up, um, the food in and Liz is back in as well. So we'll just play some music and let you have a look at that. And as a little extra, um, he's got this vine that he got just after he set up the tank. As you can see, it's really long and it's got the suction cups that help it stick to the side. This is just going to give his crested gecko some more space to climb on. I will add a link to that in the description. So that is it from me today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of Crested Gecko Tank Upgrade. Um, let me know what animals you have in the description below and what sort of setup you've got for them. Uh, don't forget to leave a like please and I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.